Hi, it's Cassie, artist in residence with Imagine. I found this cute little uh, tea tin. It's kind of an antique. Um, I had it in my stash and I really love to use recycle things and just upcycle them and give them new life. So I'm super excited to make this project with you here today. So I'm starting with some fun kind of, you know, country shabby chic kind of pattern paper. And I have this really cool die that um, it just cuts out the shape in the middle so I've run it through several times to get the full length of this paper so that it has all so it all has this um this pattern cut out and it looks really cool in the end uh, and then I took another piece that had a little less going on and I used some of the walnut ink spray and some water and just covered this whole thing I wanted to give it like a tea or coffee stained um, dyed look and really uneven and just old and vintagey and you know just been like sitting in somebody's attic for years and years collecting um, dust and and oxidizing whatever so I really love using the walnut ink spray for that um, it works really well to just sort of distress things and give them that nice vintage look so then I had to stick this down onto that background and I thought using the on point glue with a brush would be the best choice because I can get good coverage um, I can brush it on and it's um, you know it's gonna stick really well and also um, not going to be too messy with all of those holes. So then the tear tape I'm using um, around all of the edges here to um, to really hold this whole piece in place. So I'm just I'm peeling off a little bit as I go and each side I peel off the tape and then stick it down so that I get um, good straight even even um, application around the whole thing and I'm not you know dealing with that sticky all the way around. So there's the final background. Look at how cool it looks with the that walnut stain coming through um, those die cut um, areas. It looks really awesome. So then I'm just fussy cutting all of these shapes that are on my table now so that I can um, use them uh, as the foreground and as the um, focal point for my piece here. And then I'm using Fallen Leaves and Versafine Claire and just thacking the edges of all of those fussy cut pieces so that they have that nice distressed vintage feel to them. And then I'm using Tarot Tape on the back of each of those pieces to stick them down onto the front of this tea tin. Uh, I have decided my layout and I kind of curled up those flower petals, give them a little bit more depth and just just to help um, stick everything down together and um, they l ends up looking really nice together and I really like the just the sort of whimsical vintagey kind of feel of this whole thing. So after I stuck the bee down I decided it needed some glitter <laughs> so I'm doing this the hard way but I added some on point glue to the wings and then I'm kind of dipping it into the glitter because I really didn't plan ahead but I really wanted to have some of that glitter on there and it worked out nicely. And then finally for the front of this, I just wanted to add a couple of jewels. I like the, um, you know, the contrast of the, the fun jewels against the shabby chic distress. I think it, it plays nicely together. And then I'm using um, tear tape again just to stick down the sentiment on the top and a couple more jewels. And that is my final project. I thought, how nice would this be to give to somebody, put some tea bags or little, you know, trinkets or whatever in it. Uh, it's just a really nice piece. Great, um, great for memory keeping. Uh, really fun to make this. I hope you found some inspiration and enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit imaginecrafts.com for more inspiration. Thanks!